in the previous video you learnt about uh, the equation that tells us the power dissipated by any component any electrical component and it says that the power dissipated by any component is simply equal to the current through that component times the potential drop across that component so p equals iv which means the power dissipated equals the current through the component times the potential drop across that uh, particular component now this equation is, is a pretty useful equation and in this video let us have a look at one of the various uses of this equation so you know that power that you use at your houses is generated at a power station so that power station could be near some uh, dam for example so let's say this is the source or the place where your power is being generated so this could be, be near some dam or some other power source um yeah and some place here we can have your house so this is the place where you want to use that power being generated and you also have to somehow trans transmit the power from there to there so to so for that we use the so we use simple power lines that you see alongside roads so these are simply simple um connecting wires or the power cables that you see on road right so obviously the source and your house could be hundreds of kilometers away right it's not necessary that they are very close so because they are so far away the connecting wires are also very long right the power cables that reach your house have to travel a very long distance and because the resistance is proportional to the length of the wire the resistance of these wires would be considerable considerably high right so we want the potential drop the we want the power that is being lost across these wires that should be as low as possible so we want the heat being generated or other power losses in other forms we want that to be as low as possible so that we don't waste energy and most of that energy reaches our house now let us have a look at how can we reduce that power loss across these wires let's say so this here is a circuit right some charge leaves the source travels through this wire reaches the house goes through all those components at your house including your television your refrigerator your everything that you power using electricity it goes through all that and then travels through this wire back to the source so let's say there's some current i in this whole circuit and let me just write it somewhere here and the current is and the power is being supplied to you, your house at some voltage let's say vo or the output voltage at your house right near your house now at, practically there might be more than one houses because you know it is a whole obviously nobody would be supplying only to one house uh, a lot of houses would be connected uh, through the whole power grid in the whole in, in the whole circuit but just to keep things simple i'm just taking one house right and let's say the resistance of a house is r now what do i mean by the resistance of a house well i simply mean the resistance or the net resistance of all the components that you're powering at your house so i'm just taking the average of all the components including a television your bulb light bulbs your um, geysers everything that you power using electricity the net average resistance of that let's call that r right and yeah and also the resistance of these wires the connecting wires let's call that r c or the resistance of the connecting wires uh, yeah that's pretty much it so now what is the power that is being uh, supplied to your house well let's call that po output power or um, power output equals the uh, current through the circuit times the output voltage right i just use this equation here now if i have to find the power loss or the power being lost at these wires due to the resistance uh, in the form of maybe heat and other forms of energy that can be given by simply using the equation p and let me call that c or the power being lost across the connecting wires that simply equals to the current through the wire times the potential drop across the wires now we don't know the potential drop across the wires so what we do is i can simply use uh, ohm's law which tells v equals ir right that's ohm's law so instead of writing v i'll simply substitute it with ir uh, which is the current through the mm, wires times the resistance of the wires so i'll just write i the current through the wires and times r 
and the resistance of the wire is simply RC, right? Resistance of connecting wires, IR. So this simply becomes PC or the power loss at the connecting on the through the connecting wires. By the connecting wires, it's simply I square. I have two I's uh, times RC. Now what I can do is instead. So I know that here by this equation, the power output or the power being supplied to your house is simply equal to the current through the circuit times the output voltage or the voltage at which the current is being, sub is being supplied to you. So I can simply shift this V from there to here and what I get is the current through the circuit is the, the power being supplied to you divided by the voltage at which it is being supplied to you. So now I can use this equation and substitute this value here. Now why am, why am I doing all this? I'll just come to that in a moment. So I can simply write this as PC equals instead of writing I here, I can write P output or the power being supplied to you divided by I hope I can fit that in the voltage at which it is being supplied whole square because this is a square there times R C. Now let me just remove the, or leave it. Yeah. So this is the final equation I'm left with. And if I simply open the brackets, I get this squared and let me just write it as one fraction rc there yeah that makes more sense and even this is squared right so now this is the final equation that i'm left with yeah now if you analyze this equation here this tells me that the power being lost or um, through the wires is equal to the power being supplied to your house so that means if you are supplying a higher power to your houses, more power is being wasted uh, wasted um, by the wires or at the through the connecting wires, and this also equals to the uh, this is also proportional to the resistance of the wires. So obviously we want the resistance of these wires, the connecting wires, to be as low as possible, so that PC or the power loss is least. We also see one more interesting thing that is the power loss uh, across these wires is inversely proportional to the square of the voltage at which the power is being supplied. So that is the key here. Now if I supply the voltage at, to your houses at a very high voltage because the power loss across the wires is inversely proportional to the square of the output voltage. That means if I supply your houses, if I supply current to your houses at a high voltage, the power loss would reduce substantially. So that is one thing that I can do to reduce the power loss. So here the power output, I cannot change that because the amount of power required by a house is pretty much constant, right? I cannot change that. Similarly, RC is can be changed to a limit. So I can use, let's say, good conducting material to make the wires and make them thicker but i can do that to a limit right i have financial constraints i cannot make the wires this much thicker right and that will require a lot of material and obviously i cannot use silver to make the wires so yeah there are some practical limitations to how low rc can go and but what we can actually change is the output voltage now you might have a uh, you might have a question here at this point that uh, the the voltage that we, at which we supply mm, current or power to our houses that is generate 220 volts right so that is not so high why don't we take it to let's say 4000 volts or 5000 volts why is, why is it only 220 volts well the problem with the very high voltage at our houses is that it is simply dangerous if you have 4000 volts coming to a house first of all you cannot connect directly anything to 4000 volts and it is also a risky thing to do so what we do is we do supply the current the um, power at a very high voltage uh, but what we do is we simply don't do this directly what we do is we connect a transformer here i'm not going to the structure of a transformer and all that you learn that in the coming chapters and what we do is we use a transformer here and then you connect the power to your house so what a transformer does is actually there's a transformer here also that increases the voltage and you have a transfer here, transformer here that reduces the voltage the transformer that reduces the voltage is called a step down voltage so you will study all that later but i'll just tell you basic the basics of it the step down voltage the step down transformer uh, reduces the voltage and you have a step you have a step up transformer 
uh, at the source which steps up the or increases the so increases the uh, voltage of the uh, voltage at which the current is being supplied so these two are put here so that the put uh, the voltage at which the current goes through the long transmission wires that is uh, that voltage is high and the and consequently the power loss across these long wires that is as low as possible now at this point and i hope you've seen when you if you've uh, ever seen you might have seen transformers around your houses and those transform transformers generally come with this warning sign warning so you might have seen that large red sign with a skull on it and it also says warning 4000 volts or warning 10000 volts so that is now i hope you understand why uh, it is written there so because the transmission wires that come there they carry current at very high voltages like 4000 volts 5000 10000 volts you know, such high voltages to reduce the power loss and then the trans then the transformer steps down that voltage accordingly and um, brings down the voltage to around 220 volts and that current is supplied then to your houses and you can easily and safely use that current now i hope that makes uh, sense to you and yeah that is the reason why we supply current at such high voltages which is simply to reduce the power loss that is it for this video